Virgo, 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 I was over here trying to drink me some coffee and fogged up my goddamn glasses, Virgo. I cannot see. <laughs> Give me a minute, Virgo. Wait, let me wipe them. Ooh, man. That first sip was just wonderful, though, Virgo. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing perfect. One of my favorite ones is vending at a pride event today. And so I wish them much success and much much money and safety of course so let me see all right let's put these glasses i'm gonna take another sip though virgo hold up am i gonna fuck it up again okay that was better all right virgo june june reading you know how we do this we're gonna start with the bones and the charms first um and then we're gonna move into the tarot for any type of confirmation that maybe we missed and then we're going to finish off with the um, life coach oracle this time to give us any type of guidance on how to navigate some of these messages that we're going to get. Huh? If I can get everything in my hand, let me build it up. Build it up. What's that song? A house is a home for love. Isn't that it? Who was that? The five heartbeats. I hate when I randomly have song tunes that pop in my um my mind and I can only sing like three, four words of it. All right, we got all of them, Virgo. All right. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Before I start singing again. Virgo, what's going on with him, spirit? Virgo. All right. So be careful with travel. There could be some sickness that's coming in. Some of you, you got some clouds coming to the house, but it could be arguments because we got the devil head. Could be somebody going through emotions. That's the first thing that I got was like somebody in emotions. Now, this could be family. This could be friends. This could be children. But we do have the claw over here in family. So it is kind of corresponding with that, that there may be some conflict that is coming up this month. Um there may be some communication problems because we have the conch shell upside down which is no communication or not talking and then we have question mark this month you could be like what the fuck is you talking about like what are you trying to say some of you may be having an issue with uh understanding somebody maybe you're the one trying to talk and this person is not understanding you so i feel like that there may be this thing of okay what are you trying to say? Perception, I think, may be off. Comprehension could be off. So it's not Mercury retrograde, but it could be uh, the energy of just with Mercury messing. Let me see what Mercury is doing real quick. Hold up. When is the next Mercury retrograde for 2024? Okay. Okay, da, 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 da. let's see, April, August, all right, so the next one won't be until August, but you're getting some type of communication stuff that's coming in, and like I said, it may be cool to just slow it down, like, what do you mean, what are you talking about, what are you trying to say, because I don't understand it. And if somebody is telling you to do the same thing, slow it down. Because if not, there may be some arguments or some conflict that comes in because of it. Now, there is some stress with travel. So make sure that, you know, you're checking your tires, your gas, your oil. Um, if you're flying, that, you know, you have your paperwork and everything that you need. Because it looks like that there's some, some openings or some opportunities. Because we have the road open the key at a distance but we have the stress heart there and it could be that I'm just stressed out. Um, if you fly a lot or you drive a lot or you travel a lot, you understand that sometimes it gets the best of you. So you could be a truck driver. You could be a flight attendant. Um, you could be on a cruise ship or something like that, where it's like, I I'm tired maybe from traveling or I'm a little stressed from traveling, but I'm doing it because there's opportunity that are attached to that. Some of you 
and we got the airplane upside down and this could be delays and that could cause the stress. So some of you might be having some problems with a delay that's coming in. I feel like that somebody's watching you um, and things that you are manifesting and it looks like a seed under your manifestation. Oh yeah, a lot of opportunities that are coming in for you guys. But I feel like that you may be defending yourself because of these opportunities. Like somebody's like, why you? Why are you getting the opportunities? Why are things are looking better for you? I feel like that there is going to be some type of opportunity that comes in that maybe somebody else wants because we have evil eye energy, but it's in your luck spell work or your luck sector. I'm sorry. Somebody may be trying to push your luck away or, um, and I feel like this is competition for some of you. This is masculine energy. This could be somebody that you work with, somebody that you compete with on a regular basis because it looks like that there may be something solid coming in for you this could be a contract this could be discussions about contracts or work um and with the three of cups we have celebration on top of manifestation the seed planting good seed harvesting but having to defend yourself some of you there may be some issue with money that is coming in like we got the king of pentacles we have the queen of wands Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, and then we have the moon card, maybe not seeing something completely with family. It may be that you feel like everything is okay, but somebody has a problem, but we might have communication where a person is not seeing, I have a problem. So you might be dealing with something with that. Um, I get a lot of emotions that may be coming in. And for some of you, this may be with friends, um, I get a possessiveness. So it's either somebody's marking territory. Um, this could be that maybe you don't want somebody to go hang with another friend or they don't want you to go hang with a other friend. Or it could just be that somebody is really like trying to keep you close. Um, and I get the handcuffs there. So that's codependency. So this could be, um, I don't want you to leave this job because you make it easier for me to come here. But I feel like you have some opportunities that are coming in and it may be leaving somebody or something behind. And that could be where that possessiveness is coming in. Some of you are going to be making some strong connections with friends to bring money in the next 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months. There's some type of improvement with cash flow. We have the King of Cups here. Some of you could be um, partnering up with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the eight of hearts, eight of cups. This could be about education. And then we have nine of pentacles. You could be going into business with a water sign. And this could be something that grows um, bigger. Like it may have started off gradually. And then it grows into something a little bit bigger. So I do feel like that there is going to be some type of expansion. But maybe somebody or somebody that's left out of this is not going to be feeling um, that way. I feel like that there may be some type of codependency, but maybe not with the cancer though, with this particular one, we got fire energy over here. Um, I don't know, Virgo, I feel like somebody's upset or they get upset because they're stuck, but I don't think it's your fault. And that could be the problem is so you could be dealing with somebody that you work with that's unhappy. You could have an unhappy friend. You can have an unhappy business partner but it's not really your fault why they're not happy. So there may be some type of emotional stuff that's coming in. It's showing in family though. So this is somebody that you probably know well. Um, I feel like something is blowing up for you in 2025, but it could be literally from working with a partnership. And we have water energy there. So I think that you are going to be collaborating with people, but some people that you're not connecting to are going to feel some kind of way. Some of you, I, I don't know why, but I feel like that there may be some issues with your toe, your ankle, your knee, your hip, something with the lower body. Something with the lower body. A few of you, I feel like something needs to change with the diet. This could be some food allergies. This could be causing some type of reaction. Like if you eat too much salt or you eat too much sugar, your body may be having some type of reaction. Ancestors are definitely bringing in money, but they're telling me you're missing opportunities because you're not talking to them or you're not listening to them. 
So for some of you, you have somebody on the other side and it looks like the female, like I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm telling you things. You're missing these opportunities because you're looking in a different direction and you're not listening. And it's because your feet are pointed in a different direction. You need to pay attention to your dreams. I believe some of you may be having a lot of dreams about ancestors, people who have crossed over because it looks like that they're talking to you. And some of you may have a hard time believing it. That could be why you're not hearing it because I feel like somebody has a one track mind where it's like, okay, I don't believe in this. It's a dream. I don't believe that people are giving me messages and spirit is definitely saying that we're talking to you and they're talking to you because they feel like you're missing something. You're missing some opportunity. Bullet casing is in the middle and this could also be a warning. Let's turn some of these cards. Could be a legal situation that you may have to deal with um, this month, but there may be money lost on top of it. For some of you, make sure that you're, if there's any type of court cases or anything like that, that you have your paperwork together, that you have everything that you need to have, because it could be that you go in unprepared and you lose money when some of you are supposed to really be getting money because the four leaf clover is underneath this legal situation, but you could be causing delays if you're not prepared. I do see spirit messages saying you're going to be looking at a new home. Um, and it may be because the home that you're in is having issues because we got the devil head right on the house. So could it be that there's termites, there's something wrong with the pipes. It's an older home. It could be falling apart. Like what was it the other day? I went into the guest bathroom and I typically don't even go in there because jazz and Jordan kind of take care of all that. But I know Jess had said there was some mold from a pipe that we had leaking. We got the pipe fixed, but I guess the guy didn't treat the wet spots. So I was like, what the hell? So we got to get that back out because if that starts to spread throughout the house, we got a sick house. So for some of you, you could be having an issue where the house needs some work and it may be something that you don't see yet. It could be that the house is giving you a warning because we do have clouds. So pay attention to your house. This also could be too, that there may be something in a new lease agreement that you need to look into. So if you're signing a lease or you're renewing a lease, make sure you're going back in and looking at the paperwork just in case there's some hidden stuff. Some of you, you're going back to school. You might be dreading it, but it looks like that this actually is a good thing. It looks like it opens up something that makes it easier for you to move. I'm really getting that the next, I want to say five months, you need to be a little bit more flexible. It could be five to seven months. You need to be a little bit more flexible about what you're trying to do. Now we do have new job that's coming in, in the love sector. And this is like doing something that I absolutely love. Like I'm passionate about, like I can make money off of this. Um, but you need to, um, pace yourself. The busy bee is upside down. And this is somebody that's tired or they're exhausted or they're not pacing themselves. This also could be too, I get for some, we got a little bit of procrastination and it could be one. Um, I don't know how to assert myself with something. So I'm working a little bit harder and I'm pulling back because I don't want to do all this work. Also could be some of you might be having some type of back issue or lower body pain, lower body issues, lower back issues. Um, because you're overworking yourself. Some of you, I think you're doing something that you really love or you enjoy, or it's coming in and you're overworking. So be really careful that your ambition just does not, um, you know, do you in demon head is in love the sun. So we got the sun, we got demon head and we got to search yourself. Some of you could be dealing with mood swings. If this is not mood swings on you, you could be dealing with somebody who has mood swings. You just don't know what that, what that's going to look like in the morning. He's upside down though. He or she is upside down. And this could be somebody that maybe they were cranky, but with the sun, there's a transformation of, okay, maybe this person is, is doing a whole lot better or they're feeling a whole lot better. This could even represent you too, where maybe you could have been real cranky, but the sun is like, okay, I have some things to look forward to. There's some positivity that's coming in. 
the spell work good spell work money is upside down be careful with spending let me see we definitely have some issue with evil eye energy trickster spirit let's see or trickster person we have the skeleton hand on top of the gun somebody's trying to take something away for you but they may be being a little bit aggressive with it for some of you you may be feeling like okay you're challenging me you're kind of pushing me a little bit for some of you i feel like that you're in a situation where you might be walking on eggshells and you don't want to because you don't want to set this person off but i feel like that some of you are dealing with an energy of i feel like you're ungrateful you, you you're not grateful for me uh it could also be too that this if this is a child or something like that it could be that you're telling this child i do a lot for you and i just don't feel like you're grateful if it's not a child it's a friend or a partner that you look at as childish because i feel like somebody's like i do a lot and I'm, I'm i don't feel like you're grateful now this could be a younger person it definitely could be a younger person let's see we have eight of diamonds on top of the person this is money coming in we have the butterfly so if you've been having some issues financially there may be a transformation that is coming in with this money but we got the skeleton hand right there don't tell nobody that you got the money coming in because you got the cowrie shell and you got the bloom here which means something is you planted some seeds and your harvest may be coming in sooner than what you think some of you the penis is on top of this evil eye with the group thing this could be a male leading um some type of um campaign against you if it's not a male this could be a very aggressive female that you may be feeling like they're challenging me now the cross is on your crown and this is spiritual growth this is seeing something clearly which is good because over here spirit was like you know what we're talking ancestors are in the upright but it's like we're talking to you but you're doing some things that we are trying to warn you about or navigate over here it's like okay let me get this clarity this is the path that i want to walk on this is the direction that i want to go this is what i'm trying to do and i do feel like that there's something that's opening with this this could even be talking a little bit more putting yourself out there a little bit more some of you there may be this thing of i'm looking for a new job or i'm looking for something passionate that's going to make me feel good and make me happy and it looks like that you have an opportunity that's coming in to do something that you really love or you enjoy i think for a few of you you're kind of letting go of fear but you might have to also work on codependency typically virgos tend to be a little bit more grounded but if you've um been in a situation for a long time a relationship a marriage a business partnership sometimes um that turns into okay we're gonna always work together and i'm not gonna say that that won't happen but i feel like there's other collaborations that are coming in so be open to other opportunities that are coming in this month watch your emotions and watch the emotions of people around you be careful of people being too possessive or trying to hold you back the bullet casing is in the middle there is going to be some conflict now the conflict could be like you see it coming the eye is in the upright some of y'all y'all don't have to go into the conflict it just may be that i don't want to keep my mouth shut or I want to say what I want to say, or you're dealing with somebody else. That's the way they think. It's like, I don't want the conflict, but here this person comes with the conflict. For some of you, there's definitely a move that's coming in. I don't think it's coming in necessarily this year. Um, but I do feel like that there's something that opens up that may lead you somewhere else. Some of you, you may not have a choice though. The house could be sick or you could be dealing with a really nasty landlord or you just might have really nasty neighbors. But I feel like this is more of an internal thing dealing with you. Mo the mojo money hand is showing money coming in, but your catcher's mitt is upside down, which means that you're for all the opportunities that you are catching, you're, you're missing some to bring in money. So be really careful about that. Like I say, expand, really be looking contracts come through networking talking meeting people who you know 
if you're traveling, take your emergency, um, you know, drink your vitamin juice and, you know, pop vitamins or whatever you do to stay healthy. Cause some of y'all traveling around is stressing your system out and you may end up getting sick. All right, Virgo, let me turn this one over. Ten of Pentacles is coming in, but your anchor is upside down. Almost. So there's a stability that's coming in where it's like, I almost feel like where I'm at or where I want to be at. But you got to watch your spending. You definitely have to watch your spending. And if this is you, this could be a partner. Watch the way that the money is spent. manifesting good things though i love that seed right under the witch's hat because it means that you're 100 percent on point like i want this i want this job this is my job this is my business like you really are sure about what that looks like for you all right virgo 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 Any guidance, any messages, Virgo? Let's see what we have. So we have the Ten of Cups and we have family, quarrel, stress relationships. Now, we got the devil head right in the house. We also saw the claw up here. Could be communication problems, what starts it. Three of Wands in reverse assuming something also untrustworthy people so it could be that one i'm assuming that you know what you're saying to me is going to upset me or i'm assuming that if i talk to you that you know i'm not coming at you in a bad way but it could be your tone also it could be too that there are some people around that you don't have uh, I, you might not trust them they may not trust you and this might be in business also oh unfairness with the justice card um dishonesty somebody you feel like is not being honest with you they lied to you and they're not they're not doing something the right way or they're not doing it the way that you feel like it should be done now this because it's a general read this could be somebody in the house looking at you this way you could be looking at them this could be a job um this could be an organization Let's see, pending, the world card, obstacles, distraction. So something that is around you is distracting you from some things that you feel like you need to do. And it's it has to be so much because you're like, okay, I can't really get past this until I deal with whatever this injustice is. There also could be some indecision about something too. Maybe there is a partnership and one person wants to go left. The other person wants to go right. If this is working on a project, somebody might have their way of wanting to do it. You may have your way of wanting to do it, but we have a project that is put on hold. Page of cups in reverse, emotional, um, somebody refusing good advice. Now, like I said, some of y'all could be dealing with a child or you could be dealing with somebody who acts like a child. There could be some mood swings that's coming in. This could be you. It's like somebody is oversensitive, like they're taking things the wrong way. And we have Queen of Swords. Let's see. Independent, in the upright, straight talking. And then we have the Four of Wands, Achievement, Partnerships. Um, some of you might be connecting with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could also be anywhere in this person's chart. It could be that there is something that you felt was unfair, untrustworthy companions. Is somebody trying to take something away from you? Somebody lie on you? We did see some evil eye energy. We saw something with um, the communication. And Virgo is looking at this like, I don't see it this way. I think it's unfair. We got maybe somebody that you feel like is being over emotional or the situation is causing everybody in it to be unemotional. Somebody comes down and it's like, okay, look, we need to quit. We need to quit. This is interesting. My mom's a Virgo and my sister's a Cancer and I'm the queen of swords and that would be me. Stop. Stop. Act right. Act right. 
And then the four of wands, partnership, home, success. Let's see. For some of you, this could be your energy, though. Maybe you're the one that's stepping in and saying, look, enough is enough. I mean, I'm a Libra Virgo. Or at least that's what I always say. <laughs> I'm a Libra Virgo. Um, there may be some things that are going around in your environment that, like I said, you might not be on the same page with somebody. Somebody might be pushing a little bit more. This could be somebody that you're working with. doesn't necessarily have to be somebody in your home. But it does show a move or something that comes in. And if this move comes in, it may be taking money. Virgo's like, hold up, let's wait a minute. You could be going into business with somebody and it's like, wait, 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 wait. Untrustworthy companions, dishonesty. Let's put this on hold because I need to look at this. And somebody's like, oh, you're being overly sensitive or you're telling them, oh, you're being overly sensitive. And then we got somebody that's shrewd independent talking and it's like okay let's go ahead and push this through virgo is worried about this five of pentacles though are you going to cause me to lose money with the five of wands bickering pettiness squabbles i think somebody this might be a power struggle for some of you where you're dealing with somebody that wants to do something their way and you're like hold up let's do it my way and y'all might not be on the same page but it looks like that your main concern is that the money is going to be there. Now, we have conflict with the Five of Wands, but Two of Cups, we have partnership. So there could be conflict in partnership. Yep, communication error, immaturity. Some type of communication problem that y'all have to deal with this month. Five of Cups, depression, regret. Let's do something different. Four of Wands, Betrayal, Under Pressure, like I said, Walking on Eggshells, Withdrawn, Untrustworthy Group of People, Feeling Like You're Not Motivated But Pushing Yourself Through with this Queen of Pentacles, I Gotta Make This Money, Financial Loss with the Four of Pentacles in Reverse, Hangman, Let's Slow Things Down in the Upright, Let Me Figure Out What I Need to Do, Ace of Wands, New Job, Creation, Let Me Get Back on My Business, page of pentacles business opportunities money coming in i feel like that uh and then with the eight of cups new opportunity improved situation some of y'all y'all might have already gone through this energy of dealing with some people where it's like i don't trust you or we ain't moving in the same direction or there's a power struggle you want to do ABC, I want to do ABC, like we need to be on the same page. And then it looks like that there's some conflict that comes in that may threaten a business partnership, a relationship, or something, the way that you're looking at things, because somebody, I feel like is overly sensitive. Now, here's the thing, you go at anybody wrong, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get them, they might take it the wrong way. They may look at it the wrong way. And then there's a regret. There was a communication error. There was something that maybe was over somebody's head or it was taken the wrong way. And it's like, well, I regret saying that. I didn't mean to say that. Um, but somebody felt taken advantage of. So it could have been a situation where you were like, okay, look, I'm doing all this stuff and I don't feel like you're pulling your, your weight. And this person was like, what? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I work just as hard as you work. There's some type of power struggle. Now, for some of you, this could be within a family dynamics where somebody is like, you ain't doing what you need to do. Job, you ain't doing what you need to do. Love relationship, you ain't doing what you need to do. Virgo is like, I don't see that. And I think that's where the hangman comes back in where it's like, you know what? Let me kind of slow things down and look at something a little bit better. I feel like that priorities are going to be readjusted or shifted this month, uh, Virgo. It's almost like I'm not going to let somebody distract me to this point or I'm not going to be pulled into this because then we have the ace of wands and it's like energy that comes in real quick. Like, okay, let me get on my creativity. Let me get on this new job. Let me get on this opportunity. Page of Pentacles, business ideas, attracting resources, networking with people. And then we have the seven of eight of cups in reverse, new opportunity, satisfaction, improved situation. Some of you, it looks like that you saw something going in the wrong direction and it's like, let me turn this around. Let me make this right. But you're not really saying that you were wrong. 
<laughs> it's like, uh, you were a little bit oversensitive. You maybe overreacted to something. I did not. And that's so typical Virgo. It's like, I don't want to address all the bullshit. Let's move on to something else. Cause I got to get back on my coins. I ain't got time to be distracted. And it looks like that once you do make that decision, though, no, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. Why do I keep calling it Seven of Cups? Seven of Cups keeps wanting to come out of my mouth, and sometimes that's about somebody stealing, something, somebody hiding something from you, somebody didn't being deceptive. So when this money starts coming in, watch your money. We did see that little skeleton hand up there, somebody trying to take something away from you. Watch your money because I keep saying seven of cups and I don't even see seven of cups. But it is showing opportunity, 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 opportunity that comes in fast. If this is competition, it could be that you're also like conflict with them. Like I'm trying to have a partnership with you, but the communication is there. Slander could be there too. You might be like, I regret partnering with you or I regret working with you. Betrayal, being taken advantage of, withdrawn, three of cups. I can't trust you, loss of friends, unmotivated. Maybe somebody doesn't work the way you work. Ooh, Lord, trust me, I understand that. But I'm learning too, you have to communicate effectively. I had a, a conversation with my God kids because... I grew up at a time where you just couldn't sit down and rest. Like, you know, you just couldn't. And so I tend to go on and on and on and on. And people are like, when they sit down and start getting on their phone or they go and try to take a nap, it irritates me because <laughs> I can't do it. And it's not that it's wrong. It's just like, why aren't you working like I'm working? And, and you know, I had some people pull me to the side and they were like, uh, we ain't you. And we ain't trying to be like you. And that really hit hard because it was like, okay, I have to shift my perception with the way that I do things. I'm a workaholic. I'm extremely ambitious. And I'm not saying that I'm going to downplay that or slow it down. But now I have to realize I can't expect other people to go to that same pace with me because maybe they're getting there smarter. Maybe they're not working. Maybe they don't have to work as hard. So you have to understand somewhere in here, per perception could be mixed up. It could be mixed up, assuming or presuming something that may not be there, that maybe it's unfair. For some of you, yes, is some stuff unfair? It's quarrels, the way somebody's talking to uh, each other. Um, because I think both of y'all, if this is a business partner or a partner want the same thing, it's just like, how do we get there? If this is a group or working with a project, we all want the same thing. We want this achievement. How do we get there? And I think that may be the question this month. Like, I don't want to argue with you because it's going to waste my time. How do we bypass this bullshit and get where we're supposed to be? The recognition, the achievement, the new home, the new brick and mortar without having to fight it out because communication is messed up focus on communication this month it'll make things easier and sometimes um things get lost in translation in emails and text messages and things like that sometimes you don't have a choice but to get on the phone it really talks something out with someone all right life coach oracle virgo 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 any guidance Anything that they need to hear, Spirit. Virgo. Visionary. You are learning to synchronize all your creative ideas into action, which means I'm moving. I'm moving forward. Rejoicing. You have learned how to make the most out of life. And then we got entrepreneur. So some of you are starting something up. Be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold. Pretty much what the ancestors were saying. Open your eyes because there's maybe more opportunities that are around you than what you understand. Now, 
I don't think that's a negative thing that maybe you're not seeing everything right now. It could be also that you're just distracted from a lot of things with people in your life, but it's saying, you know, make sure you look automatic negative thoughts. You're learning to take charge of the thoughts you choose to give life to. So this is overthinking something, but looking at it in a negative way. So it's almost like, okay, I know I'm not going to get this job because I'm not good enough, but you, and then I'm not going to apply because I know I'm not going to get it, but you may be good enough. You should apply or I'm not going to, you know, put my business in this location because somebody told me that my business won't do well, but maybe it will. There's something with going to the dark place that you need to stop. Approval. Choose to approve of yourself and others will too. Basically don't look for somebody else to knock you or pat, to knock you on the head, pat you on the head. Um, some of you may be dealing with some self-worth issues or self-esteem issues. And I don't know, that could even be a trauma response of why I work so hard because I want things to look right. And I want people to like it and be like, oh, she did a great job, but that could be a trauma response. So we have to kind of look at it. Like, why do I need this validation? Why am I working myself the way that I'm working? But it could be that you're afraid. Negative thoughts could be, I'm not enough. Somebody doesn't look at me in a way that makes me feel worthy. Communication could do that too. You could be like, this person is talking to me crazy. They don't respect me. Or they don't love me. They don't care for me or they wouldn't do this. We do see some untrustworthiness. We do see some betrayal. So it could be that, yeah, there's some people that you need to kind of cut out your life. And that may be something that makes a change. Um, you do have transformation that's coming in. Um, you got a lot of positive things. So don't let yourself go to that dark place. Don't overthink about the negativity because it may not ever happen. You might be giving it life because you are manifesting in a really big way. So be really careful about what you're manifesting this month, Virgo. All right. Love you guys.